today we have discussed about AC voltage controller or AC voltage regulators or voltage regulator or AC voltage controller in previous class we have discussed about cyclo converters its classifications and applications and principal operation of cyclo converters and today we have discussed about on the completion of this topic you would be able to know what is an electric drive and a speed control and thyristor control drive and ac voltage controller or ac voltage regulators and phase control methods this is today we have discussed about ac voltage controller or ac voltage regulators AC voltage controller the thyristor based device it is a thyristor based device which convert fixed AC voltage into variable AC voltage without change in frequency that is the frequency here constant the frequency is constant frequency is constant The advantage of thyristor AC voltage control. The advantage of thyristor AC voltage control. The flexibility in controlling, flexibility in controlling, and high efficiency, and compact in size, and less maintenance, and less maintenance. This is the advantage of thyristor AC voltage controller, AC voltage regulators. The flexibility in controlling. and high efficiency compact in size and less maintenance the types of ac voltage controller types of ac voltage controller single phase ac voltage control three phase ac voltage control single phase ac voltage controller three phase ac voltage controller here two types of ac voltage controllers single phase ac voltage controller and three phase ac voltage controller the single phase half wave ac voltage controller single phase half wave ac voltage controller this is a circuit diagram for single phase half wave ac voltage controller single phase half wave ac voltage controller it consist of the source voltage source voltage is equal to vm sin omega t source voltage equal to vm sin omega t and and thyristors t1 is a thyristors and thyristor and diode d is the diode the d diode is anti parallel is connected with the thyristors and here the resistance load is a connected the resistance load is a connected where v not is the voltage across resistance load and i not is current flowing through the load or output voltage or output current v not and i not is called as the output voltage is v not and i not is output current here the diode is anti parallel with thyristors the diode is connected with anti parallel to the thyristors here the source voltage that is the vs here the vs is equal to vm sin omega t source voltage vm sin omega t so here vm sin omega t means vm is the maximum voltage the sin omega t is nothing but sin wave omega t is nothing but angular frequency and time period this is the voltage and current wave form for corresponding this circuit corresponding ac voltage controller or ac voltage regulator circuits 
for the resistance load for the resistance loads for the resistance load here the first figure is nothing but the first figure the first figure is nothing but source voltage that is the input voltage we have to given the input voltage or input signal and second waveform is nothing but load voltage or output voltage and third waveform is nothing but output current or load current output current or output current or load current so this is a circuit diagram and corresponding waveform for single phase half wave ac voltage controller single phase half wave ac voltage controller from this circuit how to produce this signal how to produce this signal that is the output voltage and the current output voltage and the current this is the output wave output voltage waveform output current waveform it consists of thyristors it consists of thyristors here input signal is given to the thyristors input signal is given to the thyristor if thyristor t1 is uh, during the positive half cycle of the thyristor during positive half cycle of the thyristor during positive half cycle of the thyristor the thyristor is turn on the thyristor is turn on the thyristor is turn on so from 0 to pi from 0 to pi from 0 to pi this is a pass to half during the pass to half cycle the thyristor is turn on the thyristor is turn on the thyristor is turn on it consists of one thyristor in anti parallel diode in pass to half cycle the thyristor t1 t1 is triggered from firing angle for a firing angle alpha then it will be start conducting from alpha to pi alpha to pi if does not given to the thyristor t1 the thyristor t1 the firing pulses by using external triggering circuit by using external triggering circuits by using external triggering circuit we have to apply firing pulse through the gate terminal of scr through the gate terminal of scr then the thyristor is start to conducting a delay angle of alpha thyristor is start conducting a delay angle of alpha if the alpha is changing from 0 to 180 degrees if alpha is changing from 0 to 180 degrees the output voltage or the load voltage is changing the output voltage and load voltage is the changing what are the need of firing angle alpha is given or firing pulses is given to the thyristors we have to control the output voltage we have to control the output voltage or load voltage for the load voltage and output voltage we have to controlling purpose we have to given the firing pulse all firing pulses by using external triggering circuit by using external triggering circuits so at omega at omega pi at omega pi at omega t equal to pi at omega t equal to pi here the negative half cycle is the reaches the input voltage or source voltage the negative half cycle is the reaches so the during the negative half cycle the thyristor here the t1 thyristor is the forced commutation the forced commutation the thyristor t1 is forced commuted so during the negative half cycle during the negative half cycle the diode is start to conducting during the negative half cycle the current flowing through the load so the d so that is forward bias so it start to conducting from omega t equal to pi to 2 pi omega t equal to pi to 2 pi so at the diode is d is d1 is start to conducting so the source voltage equal to load voltage source voltage equal to load voltage 
next after a 2 pi time period after a 2 pi time period next remains past half cycle is the reaches past half cycle is the reaches so during the past half cycle of the SC, of the thyristors during the past half cycle of the thyristors the thyristors start or thyristors fire or thyristors conduct at 2 pi plus alpha 2 pi plus alpha at 2 pi plus alpha thyristors start conducting so here also we have to give the firing pulses alpha then it will start to conducting what are the need of firing pulses alpha we have to applied to the this thyristor for control the output voltage for control the output voltage at 2 pi plus alpha at 2 pi plus alpha the scr is start conducting a delay angle of alpha scr is start conducting a delay angle of alpha so then the source will equal to load voltage the source will equal to load voltage at 3 pi at 3 pi the thyristor is forced commutated the thyristor is forced commutated then the thyristor is off state the thyristor is off state so at the 3 pi then during the negative half cycle the thyristor t1 is a forced commutated the d is, the diode d is a start to conducting during the negative half cycle so the current flowing through the load through the d source d load and the source to so form the complete loop to form the complete loop so here this is the load this is the load voltage waveform and load current waveform the load current waveform the load current waveform is nothing but here the resistance load the output voltage and output waveform is the same as to same as to the output voltage here the, there is no phase difference between the output voltage and the current there is no phase difference between the output voltage and output current for the resistance load so the output voltage and output current waveform is the in phase to each other that is the voltage voltage waveform and current waveform is the same 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 so here there is no phase difference there is no phase difference the output voltage and output current here the phase angle here phase angle is the zero the cost the power factor is the unity the power factor is the unity power factor is unity so this is a theoretical expression the it consists of thyristor is anti-parallel with the diode anti-parallel with the diode in positive half cycle the t1 is triggered for a firing angle alpha then it conduct from alpha to pi alpha to pi the thyristor is start conducting alpha to pi then the source will equal to load voltage source will equal to load voltage at omega t equal to pi at omega t equal to pi the thyristor t1 is reverse biased it will be turn on automatically it will be turn on automatically next at pi time at omega t equal to pi time period at omega t equal to pi time period the negative half cycle is reaches the negative half cycle is the reaches the negative half cycle is reaches then current flowing through the d the current flowing through the current flowing through the load through the diode d is start conducting diode d is start conducting so it will be forward bias so it will be start conducting from pi to 2 pi pi to 2 pi pi to 2 pi so uh, this operation is continuous is repeated this operation is continuous is repeated forward bias and reverse bias condition so this process is continuous repeated in uh, within one second in 50 50 cycle is a reaches to the load and to produce the output voltage and output current waveform to produce output voltage and output current waveform so both are waveform with the in phase to each other in phase to each other for the resistance load next
नेक्स्ट सिंगल फेज फुल वेव एसी वोल्टेज रेगुलेटर सिंगल फेज फुल वेव एसी वोल्टेज रेगुलेटर्स सिंगल फेज एसी फुल वेव एसी वोल्टेज रेगुलेटर्स हियर here this one is uh, in single phase full wave control ac voltage full wave ac voltage controller it consists of two thyristor it consists of two thyristors here the two thyristor is anti parallel two thyristor are anti parallel here in the input voltage is given that is the source voltage source voltage equal to vm sin omega t source voltage vm sin omega and the output voltage across the load is v not and output current or load current is flowing through the load is the i not here thyristor t1 and t2 two thyristor is here two thyristor is there this thyristor is uh, does not diode just indicate here diode but this is not that diode is the thyristor two thyristors here the two thyristor are anti parallelly connected the two thyristors anti parallel connected so here the source voltage we have to apply to the full wave ac voltage controller here the full wave ac voltage controller means here the both a positive half cycle and negative half cycle both side the voltage is the control both side the voltage is the control so it is called as the full wave ac voltage control so it is called as full wave ac voltage control so the source voltage is equal to vm sin omega t source voltage is equal to vm sin omega t here the maximum vm is maximum voltage and sin is the wave form is the sin wave and omega t is nothing but omega t is nothing but omega is angular frequency that t is time period that t is time period t is time period so here the t1 and t2 is anti parallel here t1 and t2 is anti parallel is connected anti parallel is connected so the voltage across the load the voltage across the voltage across the load is nothing but output voltage that is the v not and current flowing through the load is the i not current flowing through the load is the i not this is the circuit diagram for single phase full wave ac voltage controller single phase full wave ac voltage controller so this is the corresponding waveform this is the corresponding waveform here the first figure is nothing but supply voltage or input voltage and the second figure is nothing but the output voltage that is the load voltage and third figure is nothing but uh load voltage sorry load current and output current load current or output current load current or output current here the two thyristors t1 and t2 two thyristor t1 and t2 is connected in anti parallel two thyristor t1 and t2 connected in anti parallel during the positive half cycle during the positive half cycle thyristor t1 is start conducting during the positive half cycle thyristor t1 is start conducting and it will be fired or it will be triggered at alpha it will be triggered at alpha then the thyristor t1 is start to conducting from alpha to pi alpha to pi alpha to pi so the source is equal to load voltage source voltage equal to load voltage that is the alpha to pi alpha to pi here at the pi time period at the pi time period uh, negative half cycle is the reaches the negative half cycle is the reaches during the negative half cycle at that pi time period the t1 is commutated the t1 is commutated that is the why because here the negative half cycle is the reaches 
so that t1 is a commutator that t1 is turn off that t1 is turn off so during the negative half cycle at the after pi time period the negative half cycle that is that t2 is start to conducting thyristor t2 start conducting during the negative half cycle so at pi plus alpha at pi plus alpha at pi plus alpha thyristor is thyristor t2 is triggered or fired by using external gate signal by using external triggering circuit by using external triggering circuit we have to apply the pulses through the gate terminal of each thyristor gate terminal of each thyristor then the firing pulses is applied to the these two thyristor then the thyristor is start conducting a delay angle of alpha a delay angle of alpha here the al we have to change the value of alpha and we have to give the firing pulses alpha from 0 to 180 degree this is the time period this is the time period of firing angle alpha this is the time period for firing angle alpha so here the alpha equal to the changes from 0 to 180 degree 0 to 180 degree so here the during the positive half cycle the thyristor t1 is start to conducting if the alpha we have to give alpha firing pulse is given to the thyristor thyristor is start conducting a delay angle of alpha so thyristor t1 is fired or start to conducting from alpha to pi alpha to pi so the source would equal to load voltage source would equal to load voltage here the time period between the time period 0 to alpha between the time period 0 to alpha thyristor is does not conducting here thyristor is does not conducting why because here the voltage is drop across the scr the voltage is drop across the scr why because here the thyristor is does not conducting thyristor is does not conducting then we have to we have to obtain the voltage is output voltage is control the controllable output voltage we have to applied or you have to produce across the load controllable output voltage produce across the load at the pi time period the negative half cycle is the reaches the source voltage is negative half cycle the source voltage is negative half cycle at the pi time period at the pi time period negative half cycle is the reaches the during the negative half cycle the SCR, the, the second SCR is start to conducting. The thyristor to T2 is start to conducting. Thyristor T2 is start to conducting. So here the pi plus alpha thyristor T2 is start conducting. Then the source voltage is equal to load voltage. It will be fired or thyristor T2 is start to conducting from pi plus alpha to 2 pi. Pi plus alpha to 2 pi pi plus alpha to 2 pi at the 2 pi time period at the 2 pi time period the name remains past to half cycle is the reaches so at the 2 pi time period thyristor t2 is commutated thyristor t2 is commutated or thyristor t2 is the thyristor the t2 is turn off the thyristor t2 is turn off at the 2 pi to 2 pi plus alpha thyristor is does not conducting here we have to apply the firing pulses firing pulses by using external triggering circuit by using external triggering circuits here the external triggering circuit is made up of with oscillators it is made up of with oscillators i will explain how to design and how to uh, produce how to uh, produce the, the firing pulses all pulse generating circuit how to made up of how to made up of by using the oscillators the principle of oscillator is nothing but the principle of oscillator is nothing but uh, here uh, without uh, the output signal the output signal is generated the pulse is generated the pulse is generated without giving the any input signal without giving the any input signal then generate the pulse then generate the pulse then generate the signal then generate the signal that is the that is called as the oscillator that is called as the 
oscillators the oscillator is a nothing but to generate the signal to generate the signal to generate the output voltage without giving the any input signal without giving the any input signal so here after 2 pi 2 pi to 2 pi plus alpha here thyristor t1 is not fired thyristor t1 is not fired why because here we have to apply the firing angle alpha after 2 pi plus at 2 pi plus alpha 2 pi plus alpha then thyristor is start conducting thyristor is start to conducting so the thyristor start to conducting that is the during the positive half cycle the thyristor t1 is start conducting thyristor t1 is start to conducting next at 4 pi next at sorry at next 3 pi the t1 is the t1 is turn off t1 is turn off that is the computed the t1 is turn off that is the computed at that 3 pi time period at 3 pi plus alpha at 3 pi plus alpha Thyristor T2 is start conducting. Thyristor T2 is start to conducting. 3 pi plus alpha to 4 pi. 4 pi. At the 4 pi, the past two half cycle is the reaches. So at the 4 pi plus alpha, thyristor T1 is start to conducting. At 5 plus alpha to 6 pi. 6 pi. The thyristor T2 start to conducting. T2 thyristor T2 is start to conducting. So uh, in, uh, this uh, time interval, the, uh, this uh, time interval is continuous, is repeated, continuous, repeated. So here explained uh, theoretical explain here the two thyristor T1 and T2, T1 and T2 uh, connected in anti-parallel, T1 and T2 connected in anti-parallel, and if the past two half cycle T1 is triggered for a firing angle alpha, then it conducting from alpha 2 pi alpha 2 pi thyristor t1 is start conducting from alpha 2 pi alpha 2 pi at omega t is equal to pi at omega t equal to pi at omega t equal to pi the t1 is reverse bias the t1 is reversed bias and it is the turn off automatically it is a turn off automatically at pi time period the thyristor t1 is turn off automatically in the negative half cycle, in the negative half cycle, the thyristor T2 is the thyristor T2 is triggered. The thyristor T2 is triggered. The thyristor T2 is triggered for firing angle alpha. For a firing angle alpha, pi plus alpha, pi plus alpha, pi plus alpha. Then it conduct from pi plus alpha to 2 pi, pi plus alpha to 2 pi, pi plus alpha to 2 pi. At omega t equal to 2 pi, the t2 is reverse bias and it turn off automatically. At omega 2 pi, at omega 2 pi, the thyristor t2 is thyristor t2 is turn off automatically. So at the 2 pi, 2 pi to 2 pi plus alpha, thyristor t1 is does not conducting. The thyristor t1 is fired at 2 pi plus alpha. Fired at 2 pi plus alpha. The output voltage and current waveform are identical. Identical. Both are in phase to each other. Both are in phase to each other. So here, there is no phase angle. There is no phase angle between the two waveform. There is no phase angle between the two waveform. I will phone call you. I am a class. 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 I am a हाँ हाँ वंदा वंदा आर दी लकन कम क्या है वो अपना धारा और सीनुआस हाँ ये कब से ना कब ये कब कहाँ तो उरिस तू खोल भी जाओ हाँ हाँ दी मांगे वो रो दी मांगे हाँ हाँ वंदा वंदा दी वंदा वंदा आर दी वंदा दी मांगे वंदा वंदा आर दी
हाँ यार ले ले अपन कोकन तो कहीं वंदरु पाले रंग दिलावे के हाँ टूटा भी एक्स्ट्रा क्या हाँ वो बच्चा दे रहे हैं वो निकाल चौस्ना तो लोग लाने का इंसान के रहे बच्चे तो ना वो एक साइड जाएं कि आप फोन से लोग बच्चा हमें एक तरह का तीनों ना हो चांद है चांद है तो ठीक मैं दो ही जीवनदार रंग दिलावे से रंग के लोग हैं कौन कौन आउटपुट वोल्टेज एंड करंट वेव हम आर आइडेंटिकल सो दिस इज द एसी सिंगल फेज हाफ वेव एसी वोल्टेज कंट्रोलर एंड फुल वेव एसी वोल्टेज कंट्रोलर सो दिस इज द एडवांटेज ऑफ एसी वोल्टेज कंट्रोलर कंट्रोल कंट्रोलर द फ्लेक्सिबिलिटी इन कंट्रोलिंग एंड हाई एफिशिएंसी कॉम्पैक्ट इन साइज less maintenance this is the advantage of thyristor ac voltage controller this is the advantage of thyristor ac voltage controller flexibility in controlling and high efficiency compact in size less maintenance less maintenance the definition definition of ac voltage control is nothing but or ac voltage regulator is nothing but which convert AC power into AC power, AC power into AC power, or AC voltage into AC voltage, AC voltage into AC voltage. So at constant frequency, there is does not change in frequency, does not change in frequency, does not change in frequency. That is called as the AC voltage controller, AC voltage regulators. Now this is the advantages. These are disadvantages of AC voltage controller the disadvantage of AC voltage controller the harmonic in output voltage harmonic in output voltage and the radio interference the interference effect interference effect that means the output signal is affected that output signal is affected that is the output voltage is not sinusoidal clearly so harmonic means it is the disturbances occurred the disturbances occurred which convert here ac to ac so uh, the pure pure ac does not produce that is the some harmonic that produce some harmonic so we have to eliminate of this harmonic by using external filtering circuit by using external filtering circuit that is the line filter lc filter capacitance filters like this so we have to by using the this filtering circuits then we have to remove the harmonic we have to remove the harmonic and inference interference effect interference effect interference effect phase control techniques the output voltage can be varied by the changing of firing angle firing angle is varied by using gate circuit by using the gate circuit by using the gate circuit so we have to control the phase we have to control the phase control so this is the phase control technique the phase control means these are the phase these are the phase is there so we have the phase the supply voltage this is a phase this is a single phase are the single phase so we have to control the phase by how to control the phase by using by using external gate triggering circuit by using external gate triggering circuits then you have to control the we have to control the phase we have to control the phase we have to control the phase so that is called the phase control techniques and this is the circuit diagram for phase control techniques this is a circuit diagram for phase control techniques so here the input is ac here the input is ac here input is ac this is a in ac consists of positive half cycle and negative half cycle this is the scr this is the scr and this is the load now during the positive half cycle 
द एसआर इज स्टार्ट टू कंडक्टिंग द एसआर इज स्टार्ट टू कंडक्टिंग सो द सोर्स वोल्ट इक्वल टू लोड वोल्टेज डूरिंग द पास्ट हाफ सैकिल डूरिंग द नेगेटिव हाफ सैकिल एसआर इज डज नाट कंडक्टिंग द एसआर इज द टर्न आफ सो हियर द लोड वोल्टेज इज आउटपुट वोल्टेज आर लोड वोल्टेज इज द जीरो आउटपुट वोल्टेज आर लोड वोल्टेज इज द जीरो बाई यूजिंग हियर ट्रिगरिंग सर्क्यूट बाई यूजिंग हियर ट्रिगरिंग सर्क्यूट बाई यूजिंग हियर ट्रिगरिंग सर्क्यूट्स दैट इज द गेट करेंट गेट करेंट फ्लो इन थ्रू द वेरिएबल रेसिस्टेंस एंड डयोड वेरिएबल रेसिस्टेंस आर डयोड सो हियर द गेट करेंट हियर गेट करेंट इज कंट्रोल बाई यूजिंग वेरिएबल रेसिस्टेंट बाई यूजिंग वेरिएबल रेसिस्टेंस सो वी हैव टू इंक्रीज द वैल्यू ऑफ रेसिस्टेंस वी हैव टू इंक्रीज द वैल्यू ऑफ रेसिस्टेंस यू हैव टू इंक्रीज द वैल्यू ऑफ रेसिस्टेंस देन द करेंट वैल्यू इज द चेंजेस करंट वैल्यू इज द चेंजेस दैट मीन्स द रेसिस्टेंस वैल्यू इज द इंक्रीज इंक्रीजेस द करंट इज द डिक्रीजेस द करंट वैल्यू इज द डिक्रीजेस सो हियर द गेट करंट इज अप्लाइड द गेट करंट इज अप्लाइड हियर द डायोड इज स्टार्ट टू कंडक्टिंग द डायोड इज स्टार्ट टू कंडक्टिंग एंड द फेज वोल्ट इज द कंट्रोल द फेज वोल्ट इज द कंट्रोल द फेज वोल्ट इज द कंट्रोल The phase voltage control technique, phase control technique, by the adjusting the value of R, the output voltage can be varied. The output voltage can be varied. If the R is adjusted to the low value, the output voltage is increases. The output voltage is increases. The value of resistance is the low. The value of resistance is the low. And the value of resistance is the low. The output voltage is increases. The output voltage is increases. The value of resistance is adjusted to high. That means the resistance value is increases. The output voltage is decreases. The output voltage is decreases. The output voltage is decreases. So this is a phase control technique. This is a phase control. technique so like this uh, the output voltage is controller of ac voltage controller the output voltage is controller of ac voltage controllers so this is the advantages and disadvantages of ac voltage controllers Here the two types of AC voltage controller is there. That is a single phase AC voltage controller and three phase AC voltage controller. Now before completion of topic, we have to discuss about definition of AC voltage controller. Definition of AC voltage controller. The definition of AC voltage controller is nothing but the AC voltage controller is say it is defined as a which is a device which convert the fixed AC voltage into which convert fixed AC voltage into वेरिएबल एसी वोल्टेज वेरिएबल एसी वोल्टेज विदाउट चेंज इन द फ्रीक्वेंसी विदाउट चेंज इन द फ्रीक्वेंसी हियर द फ्रीक्वेंसी इज कॉन्स्टेंट फ्रीक्वेंसी इज कॉन्स्टेंट सो दैट इज दिस इज कॉल्ड एज एसी वोल्टेज कंट्रोलर एसी वोल्टेज कंट्रोलर द एसी वोल्टेज कंट्रोल इज एन एथिंग बट विच कन्वर्ट फिक्सड ए सी टू वेरिएबल ए सी वोल्टेज फिक्सड ए सी वोल्टेज इन टू वेरिएबल ए सी वोल्टेज विदाउट चेंज इन द फ्रीक्वेंसी विदाउट चेंज इन द frequency so that is called as the that is called as ac voltage controller ac voltage regulator ac voltage controller or ac voltage regulators that depend upon the phases depend upon the phases the single phase and three phase is single phase ac voltage controller and three phase ac voltage controller single phase ac voltage controller three phase ac voltage controller three phase ac voltage controllers the two types of two types of ac voltage controllers so here the sing, uh, single phase ac voltage controller half wave half wave ac voltage controller full wave ac voltage controller half wave ac voltage controller full wave ac voltage controller here half wave ac voltage controller and the full wave ac control voltage controller here how do we have to discussing how do we have to discussing how to produce the output voltage and output current waveform for single phase half wave ac voltage controller and 
सिंगल फेज फुल वेव एसी वोल्टेज कंट्रोलर सिंगल फेज फुल वेव एसी वोल्टेज कंट्रोलर सो दिस इज द सर्किट डायग्राम फॉर सिंगल फेज हाफ वेव एसी वोल्टेज कंट्रोलर एंड करस्पॉन्डिंग वेव फॉर्म करस्पॉन्डिंग वेव फॉर्म the full wave ac voltage controller circuit diagram the corresponding wave form corresponding wave form in today class we have discussed about ac voltage controllers ac voltage controller and phase control techniques ac voltage controller and phase control techniques and single phase half wave ac voltage controller and three phase and single and single phase full wave ac voltage controller single phase half wave ac voltage controller single phase full wave ac voltage controller and definition of ac voltage controller and definition of AC voltage controller and phase control techniques and phase control technique we have to discuss in today classes and in this period we have to discuss it. Next one, some huge questions is there for the complete exam purpose. We said uh, and. Uh, Sub engineer AE gate E set like this. So this is a complete exam question. The first question is nothing but which of the following are not the advantages of thyristor control drive? Thyristor control drive. The option A is nothing but the reliability. Option B is nothing but fast in operation. Option C is nothing but cost is very high option d is nothing but high efficiency high efficiency so what are the advantages of thyristors control drive what are the advantages of thyristor control drives what are the advantages of thyristor control drives this is the advantage of thyristor control drives here reliability and high efficiency fast in response fast in response but cost is very high does not required so the more cost is the here not the advantage of thyristor control drives so here option c is correct answer option c is correct answer it's the second question the thyristor in ac circuit the thyristor in ac circuits the thyristor in ac circuit generally gets turn off by generally gets turn off by the scr in ac circuit generally turn off by using auxiliary commutated forced commutated line commutated complementary commutated so here line commutated that is the natural commutated or self commutated or forced commutated is nothing but here the uh, option C is correct answer. Option C is correct answer. Option C is correct answer. That during the negative half cycle is the reaches the naturally commutated, automatically commutated. During the negative half cycle, the SCR is a turn off. So the option C is correct answer. The output voltage can be changed by the changing. The output voltage can be changed by a changing. Output voltage can be changed by changing is nothing but limited angle, firing angle, accurate angle, and impedance angle. Option B, option A is nothing but limited angle. Option B is nothing but firing angle. Option C is nothing but accurate angle. Option D is nothing but impedance angle. The output voltage can be changed by changing option B, firing angle. Option B, firing angle is correct answer. Option B, firing angle is correct answer. Option B, Firing angle is correct answer. 
there some frequently asked question first question is nothing but what are the advantages and disadvantages of thyristor control drive what are the advantages and disadvantages of thyristor control drives and the second question is nothing but second question is nothing but what is an ac voltage controller and clarify what is an ac control ac voltage controller and classify and classify that is the here definition of ac voltage controller that is the here the fixed voltage voltage into is variable ac voltage without change in the frequency and classify single phase ac voltage controller three phase ac voltage controller advantages and disadvantages of thyristor control drive all you have to discuss next question to explain the operation of single phase full wave ac voltage controller with circuit diagram and waveform all you have to discuss this question all you have to discuss about this questions so this is the uh, circuit diagram and waveform this is the full wave and this is the half wave i'll draw the circuit diagram waveform and and you have to explain the theory so we have to listen you have to prepare and one or more time you have to listen so we have to able to understand and read well and prepare well read well and prepare well so we have to uh, prepare the object type questions also for the computer exam purpose so these are the object type questions you have to search in a different different website for uh, for uh, competitive for the object type questions hmm? okay all the best thank you